Hello, and welcome to Smooth the Drifts with King Posh. Today, I am showing you guys the 2020 Corvette Stingray C8. My best rear-wheel drive drift tune on Horizon 4. I love this car. Um, I just made it an all-wheel drive for it, and it was just absolutely amazing. Um, now, I did take this out and did make recent captures with it. Um, and uh, yeah, this this is my most recent. I loved it. Now I pulled 45,000 with that car and I even do the line uh, as good as I could have so I could definitely be hitting over 50,000 with this car. Absolutely love it. Um, nice thing about this is it is stock so you can open up the back end and look in and see that beautiful engine back there. Very, very pretty car. Uh, absolutely love it. Uh, definitely uh, my new favorite car um, to have and use. So let's get right into it. Um, uh, guys want to see uh, metric uh, tuning first. So that's what we'll do. We'll go, we'll bounce out. We'll put it to metric and I'll show you guys the tune for both metric and standard. And then I'll show you guys what I put onto this because I've really had to work around to get the power and whatever I needed. Well, I can't go over there too fast. Gotta go over here first. Settings. Okay. HUD. Good. Over here. Press on metric. Cars. And then here's the tune for metric for you guys. Now it does have the top speed, so um, it is a straight build. Now to get these numbers, um, like the rear, you might have to go all the way down the soft to zero it out. Um, and get that point one. All right, now American Standard. Default English, pretty sure they're all the same. That's a lot of gears to work with, mm -hmm. but it, it does really well with fourth gear. Now I'm pausing in case you guys need to um, press the pause button to, you know, write these down, put these on your own car. So that's why I do it. And there you have it. Now let's go into what I've actually done to this car. And I did a lot um, to get the power I wanted out of this. Um, first off, show you I'm using the stock powertrain. Stock rear wheel drive. You got a twin turbo charged. There is no body kits that I put onto this. That's all you, these are the options you have. You can delete the uh, 
the rear spoiler, but it looks naked without it, so we're just going to leave it with the stock rear wing. If we're using a stock tire compound, we're using max 285s in the front to counterbalance the 305s in the rear. Now the rims are probably not in the first one, but in the second one. Alright, well you can pick any rims you really want if you want to keep it in S1. Um, there are other options probably you could go with. Um, I, I went with those. I, I figured the, the deep dish would be perfect. Um, yeah, so that's what we went with. And you can also go with the third rims too if you want. Um, but you're, you're, you're sacrificing, you could make it heavier. Uh, you got 19s in the front and 20s in the rear. Maxed out in the front, maxed out in the rear. You got a stock clutch, anything higher would go to an S2. You got a race transmission. Stock driveline, anything higher, like I said. Race differential. You got race brakes. Sure springs and dampeners. Anti-roll bars for the front and the rear. Oh good, it uploaded. Full on roll cage. And as light as possible. 3,000 two pounds with 713 horsepower got a stock intake anything higher by 7 horsepower would bring it up so stock intake stock fuel system stock ignition stock exhaust stock cams and valves stock valves Sport engine block, stock pistons and compression, stock street twin turbo, and a race intercooler. This one was how I could actually get over the 713 horsepower, just messing things around. And then a stock flywheel. <laughs> if I would try to save two pounds, it would go up to an S2 901. I really, uh, put a lot into this uh, this car and it's, it's phenomenal it's a lot of fun to drift um, and I really think you guys are gonna like it too um, but yeah there's the tune um, and I mean hey if you need to fix anything you can um, it's right here though uh, if you want it, it's Kings rear wheel drive drift it says points in tandem ready and then yeah and then they also have the all wheel drive drift and that one says Point King, Drift King, King Posh Gaming at YouTube. Oh. Yeah. And there you have it. There's the tune in both metric and American standard for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit that like button. And that'll be all for today. Take care. Peace out. Stay sideways, my friends.